Hi, I'm Jules from Apps in the Sky. This is the first episode of our tech series videos where we're going to share technical tips with you about different uh, technologies and programming that we're doing. So we are doing a project at the moment which involves video streaming and we have to decode that video and display it on the screen. So we wanted to share with you how we achieved that. I've got some code that I wrote as a test project and I'm going to talk you through it uh, and in this video. So if anybody has any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. I've created a simple Android project here and added a surface texture to the UI, this black box here. So this will be where our video is shown eventually. So let's have a look at the main activity. So I've created some member variables here. This is a reference to the surface view as we saw on the UI screen just now. This H264 provider object, this is an object I've created so that it has our client's code inside it so that we can access the video streams from the server um, and this object will give us the frames when we call the right function upon it. It will log in for us and it will set it all up for us, it's just so we can obfuscate the code. Uh, we have a media codec, this is what will do our video decoding um, and I'll show you how to configure that in a minute but basically we'll, we'll pass in a reference to the surface um, and when the input data is decoded it will automatically be put out onto the surface uh, and then we have this decode frames task um, this is an async task that I've created and we'll go through this in a minute and this will loop around and get our frames and pass them through the codec until we start to, to close the activity so let's start at on create. So our on create does our usual things, get sets up our uh, UI layout. Uh, and what we're going to do here is create get our reference to our UI. Uh, this is the surface on the UI, and we're going to pass this into our codec, as we said. Uh, we need to add a, a listener to our surface so that when it becomes ready, this method here, it will um, we can then set up our codec and start passing data to it. So let's have a look at that on, on surface texture ready method. So we, we're creating an, an instance of our provider and this will, in, in here I've set up a constructor. In the constructor it will log into our server, set itself up and start the stream and it will start um, capturing the frames so they're ready for us when we ask for them. And then we're going to create a media format. This will configure our, our decoder and tell it how, about its buffer its uh, video resolution here will be 920 by 1080 um, it's going to set its buffer size and this CSD0 here this is um, an SPS and PPS frame that comes from the server and it will tell the codec information about the video stream uh, I can go into more detail if anybody I can do a video about that if somebody puts in the comments below but I won't go too much into detail now it's just a, it's a configuration from the server so the codec knows how to decode its stream. So then in this try catch block here, this is where we're going to create an instance of our codec. As you can see here, we're using a MIME type, and this is this is a file type with a content type, so that the the, the uh, media codec is, is the right type for what we're using here. Uh, we're using an MPEG-4 H.264 basically stream. And this is the configuring of the codec. So here we're passing in the surface texture from our UI, and we're creating an actual surface object from that and passing it into the configuration um, and this will be our output surface for our codec. So then we start the codec uh, and we then create our asynchronous task which is going to get the frames from our provider and pass them through our codec. And I'll go through, I'll show you that function now. There's a few more functions in our callback for our surface. Um, there's a, a texture size changed, so this is where the buffer's size changes. Um, th there's a callback for texture destroyed, so that'll get that'll get fired when the app closes or if you hide um, using set visibility gone. The surface texture updated, so this is um, when the surface texture is updated um, by well by the codec. So this will, when the codec sends an image to the surface, this func mes mes method will get called, and um, you can act upon that. 
with some code. So here's our asynchronous task. Um, for those of you that want to know more about asynchronous task, again, I can make a video for you. Just comment in the uh, in the comments below, and I'll, I can do a video for you and talk you through it. But it's quite simple. An asynchronous task is used to do to run code in a different thread, and the Android operating system manages it for you completely um, and provides you with these are the two main methods that are used, and they're the ones that we're using today. So the do in background is your separate thread from the UI thread, and this is where we're going to do all the heavy lifting and um, decoding of our or our H.264 stream onto our surface. So we don't want to slow down the UI thread while we're doing this. Um, it'd be bad for user experience, and it's just just not the right way to do it. Android will probably throw an exception in most cases if you try to do things on the UI thread, uh, especially requests, HTTP requests. So here we're we're getting our byte array from our provider. So this is our actual H H.264 frame from the server. We then get the index of the input buffer from our codec, and if this is um, greater than minus one, then we know it's given us a valid reference and there's a buff input buffer ready. So we get a reference to that buffer and we put our frame into it. The next thing we have to do is we have to tell the media codec to actually process that buffer. So we use the, the Q input buffer command. Um, we just have to tell it which buffer to use and the size of the data that we're putting in. We can use that as there's offsets here so we could use all of the frame or some of the frame depending on how your stream works. Um, we then have to get a, a reference to our output buffer and again if this number is zero is greater than or equal to zero then we know we've got a buffer of output buffer available to, available to us and we can use it but in this case we're not doing anything to it because the codec is going to automatically output our video to our surface so all we're going to do is with the with, we're going to use release output buffer and that will tell the codec to output the image to our surface we then have a delay at the end um, the, the server our client um, makes only releases a frame every quarter of a second uh, when you're in live stream uh, as I said in the intro this is a CCTV system um, and only produces frames four times a second so we've put a delay in there just so that we're not getting the same frame over and over again from our provider object now the last thing that happens in our async task is when when our task completes and you can see here I've got a while loop in our do and background and the is cancelled function is looking to see if the asynchronous task has been cancelled so we can say that while it hasn't been cancelled we want to continue running this loop and get frames from our provider so at, when the app closes and I'll show you in a minute we are going to cancel this task that will become um, true and we will uh, the while loop will end and our background task will end and then our on post execute function uh, method sorry will be uh, called and in this we want to do some cleaning up so we want to stop our codec and we have we want to release our codec and this is really important so there's no memory leaks in our app um, and we're clearing up after our, ourselves because when you do a, an orientation change or you open a new activity um, you probably want to stop the codec and you definitely want to stop downloading information from the um, server if you're not displaying anything it's a waste of bandwidth waste of battery power it's not good so then the last thing we want to do when the activity finishes is our on stop and this is going to clean up everything else for us so it's going to uh, this is going to cancel our asynchronous task which is processing our our um, frames from our provider and then we're going to actually release the provider we're going to that's a, a method that I put inside the provider object which um, stops the, the video stream and logs out of the server so we're, we're cleaning up after ourselves uh, and making sure that we've handed all our references to all our objects back so that's basically the code um, uh, it so this is a screen capture of the app uh, it's working really nicely it's a bit jumpy because of our four frames a second but that's the native nature of our server. Um, I hope this video was useful and you guys got something out of it. I certainly did. 
And don't forget to, sub to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. It's very important for us. For us, we can uh, share the knowledge. So thanks for watching. Take care.